anatomy. The oral cavity receives innervation from the fifth cranial nerve, the trigeminal. The sensory cell bodies of the nerve form a large half-moon-shaped ganglion called the trigeminal semilunar or gasserian ganglion, which is situated in the trigeminal depression of the middle cranial fossa. Originating from the trigeminal ganglion are three large nerve trunks, the ophthalmic, V1, the maxillary, V2, and the mandibular, V3. The maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve is exclusively sensory and innervates the skin of the middle portion of the face, lower eyelid, side of nose, and upper lip. The mucosa of the nasopharynx, maxillary sinus, soft palate, tonsil, and hard palate, and the maxillary teeth, periodontium, alveolar bone, and gingiva. The maxillary nerve exits the cranium through the foramen rotundum to reach the pterygopalatine fossa, where it gives off several branches, the zygomatic nerve, the pterygopalatine nerve, and the posterior superior alveolar nerve. The zygomatic nerve enters the orbit through the inferior orbital fissure. Its branches supply the skin on the side of the forehead and prominence of the cheek. A small branch communicates with the lacrimal nerve of the ophthalmic division to carry secretory fibers to the lacrimal gland. The short pterygopalatine nerve trunks descend vertically to course through the pterygopalatine ganglion. Branches of the pterygopalatine nerve emanating from the ganglion distribute sensory fibers to the midface. These branches include the orbital nerves and posterior nasal nerves, which innervate the ethmoidal and sphenoidal sinuses, periosteum of the orbit, nasal turbinates, and posterior nasal septum. One of these branches, the nasopalatine nerve, passes downward and forward on the nasal septum, enters the incisive canal, and reaches the oral cavity via the incisive foramen to provide sensation to the palatal mucosa of the premaxilla. A pharyngeal branch also exits the ganglion posteriorly to serve portions of the sphenoidal sinus and mucosa posterior to the auditory tube. Palatine branches of the pterygopalatine nerve pass down the pterygopalatine canal and exit via foramina on the posterolateral aspect of the hard palate. The greater or anterior palatine nerve emerges through the greater palatine foramen to supply general sensation to the soft tissues of the hard palate and palatal gingiva. The other branches exit from the lesser palatine foramina and innervate the soft palate, uvula, and tonsillar area. The posterior superior alveolar nerve is the last branch to leave the maxillary trunk within the pterygopalatine fossa. Before it enters the maxilla, gingival branches are given off to innervate the buccal soft tissues of the maxillary molar and tuberosity region. The nerve then enters the maxilla and continues down the posterior wall of the maxillary sinus, ultimately contributing fibers to the superior dental plexus. The posterior superior alveolar nerve innervates the maxillary molar teeth with the possible exception of the mesiobuccal root of the first molar, the surrounding periodontium and adjacent buccal mucosa, and the mucous membrane of the maxillary sinus. The maxillary nerve trunk becomes the infraorbital nerve once it crosses the inferior orbital fissure to travel within the infraorbital groove and canal. During its course, the anterior superior alveolar nerve is given off. After contributing to the superior dental plexus, it provides pulpal innervation to the incisors, canine, and often premolars, their periodontium and facial gingiva, and the anterior portion of the antrum and floor of the nasal cavity. If present, the middle superior alveolar nerve supplies sensation to the premolar region and the mesiobuccal root of the first molar. The infraorbital nerve emerges from the infraorbital foramen to divide into its terminal branches. The inferior palpebral branches supply the lower eyelid. The external nasal branches provide sensory innervation to the side of the nose. And the superior labial branches pass to the upper lip.